Here. here we have some bananas of course and red onion we usually just put red onion on top of, of everything so it's a garnish to make it a bit fresher and nicer I'm going to make um, some homemade chili sauce this week so I stocked up on fresh chilies we have a lovely rutabaga that we will use in a stew just look at this beauty Black tea for David and for me, but mostly for David. Earl Grey is his favorite. We have some lovely dates, of course. We always have dates and raisins at home. So good if you want like a sweet snack. Lemon and um, ginger, two of the most important um, seasonings in my opinion. And we have some soy rice milk for David's tea, etc. Okay, next bag. Let's see what we have. We have white cabbage. We have tomato sauce and tomato paste and these are all going to be used in that lentil stew I was telling you about with the rutabaga and finally we have well, we have some more tomato sauce we have some uh, like corn cakes corn crackers a lovely snack two of my favorite seasonings and they're also great to use together as like a dressing we have mustard and we have uh, white miso so both of these are like staples in our kitchen. And finally, a big bag of uh, carrots. We always have carrots at home. We, we always buy like maybe two kilos a week or something. We just go through them like crazy. Don't you find it really annoying when you're buying organic veg and they put them in plastic? It's like, I just want to get them, you know, in bulk because we never like put any of our, um, any of our like, veggies in plastic bags when we go food shopping but often when you buy the organic stuff you have to just deal with the plastic bag annoying please stop it food shops so this is actually all the stuff that we bought it doesn't look like a lot does it but we had a lot of stuff left from last week like rice and beans and lentils and all that yummy stuff so and we also have like apples and pears in the fridge so we didn't really need to buy a whole lot this week so yeah, but that's th these all of these stuff are things we buy quite regularly. We always try to buy as much organic as possible. It does feel much better both for like the environment and also for for health health reasons. But you know, sometimes the the price difference can be quite big, so we don't always buy organic because as you probably know, you know, creating free content isn't really the most lucrative business <laughs> all the time, so uh, if the price difference is way too high, then we uh, can definitely buy conventionally grown stuff sometimes as well. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we bought, like what I would use it for, and I will try to like give you maybe a link to a recipe or something like that. And if you are interested in like what I eat in a whole week, I've actually just the other week wrote a blog post with my weekly meal plan. So I have like a whole meal plan. Uh, for a whole week like all the breakfasts all the lunch and dinners and snacks and everything so if you want some inspiration for what to eat in a whole week i will put a link to that blog post in the description box of course thank you so much for watching today guys i hope this was interesting at all i will go straight into the kitchen now and make my homemade chili sauce and i will film that for you because you have requested that a lot um, and you know if you want to help me and David out buying way more organic food support us on Patreon thank you to all of you who are already supporting us uh, we cannot thank you enough for that that's amazing and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in the comments I guess don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you guys soon bye